A recent post online is dividing GTA 6 fans. We'll be talking about what it is, what it claims, and a whole lot more all in this video today. So I actually first saw it on the Grand Theft Auto 6 subreddit. It's one of the most top upvoted or rated posts really over the last 24 to 48 hours. And it was titled Trailer 2 in the Works by user Isaac Owl. And you can see nearly a thousand upvotes, plenty of comments and conversation. And it was actually a screenshot of someone saying this, tweeting this again so I can better phrase it. The same source as last year when I hinted at Rockstar Games releasing the first trailer for GTA 6 has told me they're prepping another one. And community members, quote, in the know, have told something similar. So, um, yeah. With the eyes looking sideways emoji, following up saying second time is the charm. Okay, so that's what everyone is freaking out about. And that's what's seemingly dividing the community. Because now, there's some fans that are expecting, okay... There's going to be a second trailer coming soon. It's being passed around the community and certain members in quote the know have an idea of what's going on here. And so I obviously went to do some investigating. But interestingly enough, when I went to actually take my own screenshot for the video, because I th maybe thought it would be a little bit of a higher quality, uh, it was actually deleted, which is interesting. So make of that what you want. And when I went to see if there was any more follow-up, there was only one new post. You know with my dyslexia, I'm so bad at wording things. I get the information but could never type properly, LMFAO. Anyways, we're going to be out of one of the longest Rockstar Games droughts there's been in a while. GTA 6 Trailer 2 with, again, the side-looking eyes emoji. And that is true. We are in one of the biggest droughts we've seen. In fact, it has been the longest Rockstar Games drought in terms of lack of information since the first trailer has been revealed. With GTA 5 at this point in time, we had already gotten new information. With Red Dead Redemption 2 at this time, we had already gotten new information. So GTA 6 has certainly passed a even deeper threshold of not receiving information from Rockstar. And now it looks like instead of possibly getting information or screenshots, their next move might straight up be a second trailer. Now, if it's any indication on what Rockstar has done in the past, although, as I just mentioned, they've proven that the past really doesn't matter, that typically comes around 11 to 12 months after the first trailer. So probably around October, November, December is when we should start circling things on our calendar. However, the chatter in the community is that something might be happening sooner rather than later. I will leave that discussion and speculation up to you guys. And if you would like to ask the user in question of what they know or possibly what they might have, please feel free to do so. And if there are any updates to this saga or entire situation, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. And if there are any relevant updates, I'll of course make a new video. Now that wasn't the only post that was dividing the community. A user on social media, GTA 6 Countdown, kind of gave a rundown of some of the details and leaks surrounding Grand Theft Auto 6. It's blown up on social media. And one person that responded was, there's no way on God's green earth this thing can possibly make its money back. And that post is also dividing the community because the rumor, again, is that Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to cost $2 billion to produce. And if you think about it, it's actually not all that crazy, considering Grand Theft Auto 6 will be the biggest game Rockstar Games has ever made, and it will probably be the biggest video game of all time. Yes, it is massive when you compare it to GTA San Andreas' $10 million development, and when you compare it to Grand Theft Auto 4's $100 million development, and even GTA 5's $200 million development, the fact that it's 10 times more expensive is wild, but if you really just do the math, if the game is $70 each, they only need to sell 29 million copies to meet the amount they spent. They might do that in the first couple of months. And don't forget microtransactions, shark cards, the multiplayer of Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to contribute to that as well. They are definitely going to surpass that, even if indeed the game does cost $2 billion to produce. Rockstar is going to make an absolute boatload of money from this. But anyways, let's move on. And the last thing I want to talk about in this video today is an interesting observation that someone has actually made regarding one of the minor details in the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. 
comes from user Jericho on social media, and they pointed out that Rockstar seemingly uses two primary colors, sort of this combination of purples and pinks, and then another combo of yellow and orange. And we actually see that in the very last frame of the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer with the Rockstar Games logo sort of having that illuminating glow of those two colors. And the running theory here is, is those are the two primary colors for our main characters, Jason and Lucia. Lucia having the purple, pink, magenta, Jason having that sort of tangerine, orange, and yellow. And remember that this is the exact same thing that Rockstar Games did in GTA V, giving Michael DeSanta uh, blue as his color, Franklin green, and then Trevor yellow. And to a degree, they even did so in Red Dead Redemption 2, differentiating between John and Arthur. And so it very much looks like those might be the colors that represent our two characters. And it also might represent sort of the things you see on like the mini map or the HUD or the start menu, or even little things like the color of the user interface on the phones our characters get, again, just like what they did in GTA 5. And staying with the theme of the first GTA 6 trailer, I think that we can definitively say that it was primarily about Lucia. Her journey, she does the most of the speaking, most of the scenes involve her. In fact, Jason only says one word, trust. And so I think we can actually see this in the way Rockstar uses like that drop shadow for their text. It has the same sort of pink that we see for Lucia. So it would not be shocking if the second Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer, if it does happen to focus more on Jason, or at least more so than the first one, if Rockstar did something like this, where you see the things they put on screen have sort of that yellow, orange, tangerine drop shadow underneath their text instead of the pinks, purples, etc. for Lucia. It's very clear that those are the colors they're using. It's also what they used in the artwork as well for the pre-trailer promotion shots, as well as the artwork, obviously, that you can see with Jason and Lucia sitting on the hood of the vehicle. Again, it basically is a blend of all those colors, which not only work well for differentiating between our two main characters, but also it makes sense based on the setting. It's going to be very tropical. It is Vice City. It is the reimagined state of Leonida. So if a second trailer is in the works, which again, that is seemingly dividing the GTA 6 community right now, I wouldn't be surprised if it does focus more on Jason and if it uses sort of a different color palette format for the things we see on screen and for the maybe artwork that they use or the thumbnail for it, whatever the case might be. And yes, producing a second trailer like that is going to increase the budget of GTA 6, but I don't think Rockstar Games has anything to fear. I think they're going to make an absolute ton of money with this game. But let me know what you think in those comments down below about everything we discussed in this video. I would absolutely love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.